Hey, what's up guys? I am Iman and I am back with another video. Today's video is sponsored by Not Imagine. I can't wait till the day that I am sponsored, but I'm not for now, but soon, very soon, very soon. Okay, so this video is for the boys. Um, If you're a girl, you don't need to be here because it's gonna be boring for you. This is for the boys. Now that the girls are gone, now these gloves are for construction and now that the girls are really gone, this type of weight is solely for the purpose of, now that the girls are really gone, this radio here is for the purpose only of communicating to now that the girls are really, really gone. Let me show you. Nah, I'm joking. <laughs> that was from TikTok, obviously. If you're not following me on TikTok, follow me at underscore I am Eman underscore. I've been doing a couple of entertaining videos. I want to get back to like, not a teaching video, but something more like educational. Um, But it's not going to be educational, educational. I'm going to try to keep it a little bit entertaining while at the same time be educational. You're here because you want to know how to tie a tie or you're just one of my loyal followers subscribers and you're here to see how to tie a tie so we jumped ahead really quickly um this is the tie that you're going to end up with this is for boys girls men women um, if your son or brother or whoever does not have a father or a male figure in their life you can teach or daughter because females wear ties sometimes too um if they you do not have a a role model or anything to show them how to tie a tie you can show them how to tie a tie learning right now so stay tuned leave a like on this video because obviously you will learn how to tie a tie hit that subscribe button we're on the road to 500 subs next is 1000 and after that 1 million yep thank you all for your support and let's get right into it now for real for real what we're here for how to tie a tie here is my tie it's obviously wrinkled because um, I tie it and because I usually tie it and just take it off my neck like this and just keep it tied. I had to practice a little bit just so I remember how to tie a tie. Now, we cannot tie a tie in this shirt. We need a dress shirt. Well, we can, but I want to show you the full shebang. Except we cannot wear a black shirt under a white. Come on now. So I'm going to change real quick into a white tank. Well, a white, I don't know if it's called a tank top, a white wife beater or a white vest, a white wife beater, a white vest or a white t-shirt underneath your dress shirt. All right, see you in a second. Okay, here's my white shirt. Now over my white shirt will go my white dress shirt. If you're going to, I don't know, a prom, I don't know if you guys are gonna have prom. It could be virtual, so we're still gonna be able to use it. Um, If you have a wedding or a anything, um, even a job interview or anything like that. This is where you would wear a dress shirt. Or to church, how could I forget church? You could also wear a dress shirt to church too, bye. So I'm gonna show you guys how to tie a tie in a dress shirt. So you put on your shirt, button it up, lift your collar up, right? I'm gonna show you the simple version that I absolutely hate. And then I'm gonna show you my version that I love. Simple version, you take the tie, um, you could put it any way. I'm gonna show you both sides, but you could put it short side or long side, well, skinny side or thick side. Put it around your neck. This part, oh, I almost fell. You always put the thick side over the skinny side, always. No matter which, which, way, which way you do it, you always put the thick over the skinny. So we're going thick. This is my thick side, thick over skinny, on top of skinny. Then what we wanna do is take the thick side, go around the back, thick is going around the back. And now you put it around the front because this right here is where you're gonna put the thick side through at the end. So we're going around the back and we're not coming across, but we're going through the little middle right here. Okay. And we're gonna come back into this hole right there and we slip it up, boom. And that's your tie. Um. So the reason I don't like this one is because it doesn't look cool. Well, not cool, but it's like ugly. To me, it's ugly. It's like weird. Yeah. But let me show you guys how to do it again. This is the other side. Fat side is on the left now, or your right. Fat side is on the opposite side, because I don't know how this is gonna come out. When fat side is on the opposite side, fat side goes over the skinny side, and then it goes around the back, and it makes your loop, makes your loop, and it comes through the top, and let it hang, let it drag, and go back in that hole. 
and there you have your tie. A common question is how do you know how long, because look at this. This thing is OD long. It drops to like below my belt. How do you know how long the tie is supposed to start? Um, honestly, it takes practice to know your neck, your chest size and your waist, how far your waist down, how far down your waist is. So it's gonna take some practice. Fat over skinny, right? So fat is here, fat is going around the back. Fat is coming out this way, you see the back. Fat is coming across, right? Have your two fingers if you need it. Now fat, you see the front now. Fat is coming around the back, not all the way, but through the hole. Fat is coming through the hole. As you're coming out, you should see the back. And then flop down, you see the front. Now fat is going through, oh, I missed. Through the hole that you created with your fingers, and you have your tie. This is ugly to me. Let me show you how I like to tie my tie. So since you need a whole lot of extra um, room for the fat side, because it does a whole lot of this and that, and it goes all over the place. I like to keep this short. Let's do it right here. And then this is the long side. Same beginning, fat over skinny. Now, the fat goes right immediately, it goes through the middle. You see the back of the fat coming through, and it just wraps the side. The fat wraps the left side. This is my left and it comes around the back and you see the back of fat. Now it wraps around the right. Once again, you see the back of fat. Now to create your little loop, you come around the front. Now you see the front of fat and fat goes to the back and doesn't come across again, but it goes through the middle. And this then goes through your hole that you created. And there we go. The reason I like this, it's not even done yet, is because you can make a triangle. Boom, look at that, that is so fat. And then it sits perfectly on the inside, like look at that. Ooh, I love that. Well, yep, it's pretty good. It could go through your little hole thing right there. Let's do it the other way from the opposite direction. We're gonna start with just a little bit on our skinny side, just, just a little bit, not too much. And then all this on the fat side. Fat over skinny, always fat over skinny. Now we're wrapping our right side. So you wrap the right and then you see blank. No back, you see the front. Now come around the back, then you see the back. Okay? Then you wrap the left side. Whoa. Just come around the left side. Make sure your, your tie is always flat when you do this. Because you don't want to mess up. And then you see the front. Now let's 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 just pretend we messed up. Wow, just look at it now. It's just you got the back hanging out. You got, I don't know, this is not a triangle anymore. So we gotta start over. See, and it just messes up the whole process. You can't even start over properly. We're keeping the fat on the left. Fat on the left. Now fat on the top. The okay, fat will wrap the right side. See the front or the top of the tie and come around the back. See the bottom of the tie, this is the bottom. Then you wrap your left side. You wrap your left side and then come around to the right side so that you create your, your hole and come around the back and into your hole. Right. Whoa, I kind of messed it up. Oh, no, I didn't. And you put your tie in the middle right here so everything should be you see the top you see the top and then put it all the way up and make it triangle tight you play with it as you continue to like experiment just to see what different pulling different things do so 
sounds so weird. But when you're done, you just fold your collar down, fold your collar down. And there you go. I absolutely love this one. Okay guys, I hope you guys learned how to tie a tie. Keep practicing, do not give up because you will get it. Okay, thank you guys for watching. <laughs> Always remember there's greatness in you. So go out there with your tie and be great. Deuces.